Welcome back guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a rocket that you can actually ride and you can monitor its speed. So I'm going to uh, do this, so what you want to do is uh, go into and uh, get your rocket model and I'm just going to go into free model because that's quicker so I'm just going to write um, rocket and we'll get a rocket model, uh, I, there's, there's sometimes a good one, yeah then we'll have it, the V2 rocket. I'm just going to use that one. So how can you make this readable? Well you got to use seats. So first what we got to do is create our engine part. So let's uh, start by creating um, the engine. So the engine is here and we're going to put it right here like this. Okay, what we're going to then do is we're going to rename this one to the engine part. Engine part. Uh, engine engine part now to make this uh, a little bit better what we got to do is just uh, scale it so it goes out to these fins like this uh, there we go what we're then gonna do is we're gonna add a particle emitter and uh, we want it to emit from the bottom so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the emission direction to the bottom and we're gonna change the size like um, oh that's way too big obviously let's uh, do like that and we can change it, let's uh, change it to 5, like that. What you want to, you can see here that it says Sparkles, main DDS. And you want to exchange, you want to change Sparkles and you want to write Smoke there instead. So it's like this. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to increase the speed to like 40. You can see here. But obviously now you can't really see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the lifetime and what we can do is just change the lifetime to something really short maybe like 0 0.4 that should do there we go now nah, let's try uh, 0 0.6 like that alright we're gonna make it locked apart and our lifetime no our rate we can increase the rate a little bit like this there we go alright now let's make the engine part transparent like this and can collide off so there we have it. Now we're going to create one more part, and this is going to be kind of the rocket's root part. So what you're going to do is just scale this all the way down, and make it cover the edge of the fin. Then you got to scale it out like this. And um, it doesn't really need to cover all of it, but uh, probably just do that. So um, do like that, and do like this. So there we go, it kind of covers it all now. We're going to rename this to Rocket Root Part. Rocket uh, Root Part. Like that. And now that we have that, we have the Engine Part and the Rocket Root Part. What we're going to do now is, well, this, we're going to rename this one to Rocket. Now make the Rocket Root Part transparent and can glide off. There we go. Now let's add a seat. Um, I'm going to try a vehicle seat. Now I'm not sure if this works, but it should be able to show you what the speed is. So I'm going to create a vehicle seat. Now what you want to do is go into uh, into a model, and you're going to check out the surface, and you can change the different surfaces to glue. Uh, just some of them and you can check the surface and you can see here front surface is glue so we want to go ahead and what we can do here is we can uh, put it just at a reasonable height let's uh, put it in the bottom actually and uh, just uh, for convenience and when we put it here and we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna attach it like that there we go all right so let's um just leave it like that and what we can do now is we can group it all. <clears throat> We're going to rename this to uh, system, a rocket system, system, and rename the vehicle seat to radical rocket seat, like this. Now we've got the engine part, all of that obviously. Now you can use, you need to use Aussie Pig's welding plugin and you want to weld all of it. And there we go. Now let's just um, put this down here. Now we gotta go uh, and start the real stuff. So what is the real stuff? Well, go into the rocket root part and we wanna add a body velocity. Go in there and change the max force to infinite, infinite, infinite and uh, put the velocity to zero, zero, zero. After that, 
<clears throat> what we can do is we can create a uh, part. Let's just create some part. And what we can do here is we can actually um, let's, uh, change the it's a neon. Uh, just like this, and let's just uh, make it pissamon piss or whatever it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, anyways, um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna rename this one to uh, launch button, and inside of that, we're gonna add a script and a click detector. All right, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse button. Actually, we need to add the launch button inside the rocket system. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, script dot parent dot click detector um, dot mouse click connect um, connect function like that and now we can actually get the player here and so what we can do here is we can do uh, print let's do one actually let's do one we can do player dot dot launch dot rocket there we go all right so what we can do now is we can do um, what we can do here is, uh, we're going to write, uh, alright, screw the pen, and then we're going to do script dot parent dot parent dot rocket root, uh, rocket root part dot body velocity dot velocity is equal to vector three dot new, um, zero to one hundred zero. Then let's do wait, <coughs> wait, um, let's wait. Uh, for 10 seconds and no actually let's wait the 15 seconds and what we can do now is we can just copy and paste that line and like that and remove uh, this bit and body velocity dot max force is equal to vector 3 dot new um, zero 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 now don't do this if you don't want the rocket to fall down again I'm just doing this so the rocket will fall down again so let's add a uh, wait three seconds just like that, and we're just gonna click, click, play. Now, obviously, that's not um, anchored, uh, but we'll see if it works. So you can see here we have it. Um, let's check the output. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, the reason is uh, this is not um, it's not working because it's uh, you need to do like this to string. No, you need to do player dot name because player dot name is uh, a string I guess so let's uh, click play again and we're gonna go in and it should say who launched it now the particle uh, emitter is still on we're gonna fix that just in a minute see now it says first launch oh. ah yeah see 99 um, even though it's actually 100 and you can see there it's a uh, hundred so you can see now it's kind of wobbling here because I think it got destroyed. I don't know why it's doing that. Because, um, but it is, and now it's uh, falling down at the increasing high, increasing. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! All right. Uh, let's try again. So you can see there. Um, let's uh, weld that again, just uh, you know, to be sure. Uh, so let's anchor this. Now we're gonna do some more stuff. So we're gonna go into the rocket engine part, and we're gonna just. Uh, disable that um, all right so <clears throat> what we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna add um, what we can right, we gotta do script dot parent dot engine dot parent dot engine part oh god dot engine part dot particle and em particle emitter dot enable this equal to true and let's find some sounds as well. So audio, I'm gonna search rocket. Um, let's find a, a sound. All right, that one is not working apparently. Rocket. Rocket. Okay, that doesn't work quite well. Rocket. Oh god. All right, that doesn't work either. Rocket! No. I don't want to get copyright or something. Yeah, there we go, rocket engine. Alright, so, um, let's add a sound into the engine part. And, um, there we go. 
Let's uh, turn that off a little bit, maybe two. Alright, there we go. So, alright, then we're gonna do like this. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna do script dot parent. Actually, make this looped. And there we go. Script dot parent dot parent dot um, engine part dot sound colon play. There we go. Now let's click your play. And it should work. Um, yeah. Well, let's go over here. As you see, I have the Twin Universe shirt. That's an advertisement for my game, so go ahead and play it. It's really cool. If you like rockets and stuff. Here we go, guys. It's going to lift off. Or isn't it? It's not launching. Alright, it's not launching, apparently. Let's check if it's anchored. Um... Oh, we welded it to the launch button, so we don't want to do that. Let's um, remove all the welds, delete that. We're gonna do like this. We're gonna weld it, uh, not the rocket, not the launch button. So only weld that, weld all. Feel free to use this in your game or anything like that. You can do that. I will leave them all in the description. But anyways, guys, um, let's go ahead and hop on this. And oh god. Let's uh, do like that. Oh god! Alright, come on, come on. Like that. Okay. So, let's check it out, guys. It's not launching. Why is it not launching? Alright, and that's pretty weird. Um, I didn't launch. That's pretty weird. Um, okay, let's try removing that. Maybe that will fix it. There's definitely some error here, but I can't really tell what it is because it should be working. Yeah, there's obviously a error, an error here. So let's um. Uh, let's try that apparently there we go yeah there we go all right As you can see now apparently it's turning I think it's the weight but you can see here that it is working. As you see right here, now it's falling down again. And we fall out. Alright, let's uh, try some more stuff now. Uh, this launch button though needs to be anchored. Alright, uh, let's see if there's some more stuff we can do. Um, what you can also do is we can add an angular velocity to it. And let's uh, make the max uh, torque infinite, 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 zero, 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 like that. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do like this: script dot parent dot parent dot um um rocket root part dot ang body angular velocity dot angular dot Angular velocity is equal to vector three dot new zero comma zero point three or zero like that. Oh zero dot three like that. And then when just wanna copy this line and then just make uh, down here all the values to zero. Like that. There we go. Alright, let's try it now. I'm gonna check out if it's gonna work. Sorry this video is really long, um but um uh, yeah. It will do. Um, I'll just add the model in the description. Alright, there we go. Now it's rotating. And this kinda helps it ma maintain the, uh, so it doesn't turn really. Because it's uh, spinning that way. Another way we can fix this is we can just uh, copy this uh, engine part sound and here we're going to stop it after 15 seconds, like that. 
So there we go. Let's um, try that out. I'm gonna go in here. And let's just go in. Oops. Okay. It's turning. And when it reaches up there, it's gonna stop. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, there it stops. And it stops the sound as well. And now it's falling down. And a lot of stuff for a second. See there? Alright, so. One final touch we're gonna do is just take this and disable it. Now that's really it for the video though. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. You can share it with your friends. Don't forget to check out my Rocket game. Um, it's on my Roblox profile. It's called Twin Universe. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.